in Coney Island at high noon the hot dog eating championship of the world now we have an amazing field of eaters here today before I get into that I would like to thank Hudson Yards for allowing us to be out here in the backyard it's a fantastic location in front of the vessel and also to thank Nathan's famous the greatest hot dog brand in the world and my personal favorite they have hosted this contest decade after decade after decade after decade on the corner of Surf and Stillwell Avenue in Coney Island, the patriotic epicenter of the year, tomorrow at noon. Now, there's been some controversy. I don't know if anybody's heard. But Major League Eating got into a impasse with champion Joey Chestnut, who competed and he's been competing since uh, the early 2000s. He's won 16 championships, currently holds the world record of an astounding 76 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. But Joey endorsed a rival brand. It hit a problem with exclusivity, which has always been in place. We had an impasse. It went to the media. I blame all of you. Blew up blew up and then we tried to resolve it and ultimately Nathan's and Major League Eating conceded on the exclusivity issue because the fans wanted them there and we said look it's the 4th of July let's just let's just get past this we still couldn't get to yes with his people and so he will be in Fort uh, Fort Bliss in Texas eating with the troops if he can't be in Coney Island we certainly support him being with the troops honoring our armed forces our door is always open. We want him there. We welcome him back next year if he wants to come. However, that opens up a field of eaters who will be in contention for the mustard belt this year. There are five eaters who are all in that 50 range. Ricardo Corbucci of Brazil, Patrick Bertoletti of Chicago, Illinois, Nick Werry of Tampa, Florida, Jeffrey Esper, the number two ranked eater in the world, and James Webb of Australia, the number five ranked eater in the world, all of them are going to be neck and neck, cheek and jowl. So it's going to be a very, very, very exciting event. In addition, the great Mickey Sudo, the champion of the world for the females, yes, thank you, fierce, angel, elegant, fury, breathtaking queen. Mickey Sudo, 48 hot dogs and buns, nine belts. She is going for her 10th. However, Mayoi Ebihara, who I will introduce very soon, from Japan is here attempting to knock her off her perch. Now, that is the sort of the, the, the background uh, that we're talking about. Is Badlands Booker here? Is Booker here? Badlands, okay. Now, however, Wait, 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 right there. I'm going to introduce you, Badlands. Badlands is a rapper and an eater and a chugger. A lot of you didn't know this. I I'm a rapper and a, a sort of a gangster rapper. I'm from Brooklyn. And uh, Badlands and I will be having a rap battle to the death tomorrow. But I want, to, I want to introduce him like I introduced him when he was eating. He's now chugging. Badlands chugs on YouTube. Three, four million followers. He's the undisputed chugging eating champion of the world, and this is the introduction for Badlands. He was found 08 seconds to drink a gallon of Nathan's famous lemonade, which is just good common sense because it opens up all kinds of time in the rest of the day to clean the garage or do stuff around the house. 
23 seconds. Can that be beaten this year? Badlands will be competing against eight chuggers from around the nation tomorrow. Can it be beaten? Um, last time I practiced, I got 20 seconds. Bring them out, then I'll bring out the top four. We will weigh them, and then we will do a stare down, and that's obviously a very intense affair where they have the hot dog and a lot of emotion there. So that's right now, I'm just gonna bring out some of the eaters. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Elizabeth Salgado. Vallejo, California, the original home of Joey Chestnut. How many are you going to eat? As many as I can, just to beat my sister. She's here to beat her sister. That's all it's about. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Cherish Brown. From Eden, Ohio. Cherish, what's your personal best? Uh, 14 in training, but 10 in the contest. Well, the pressure it gets gets to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Cherish Brown. Now... I have from Ostrava in the Czech Republic with a personal best of 21 and one half hot dogs and buns, Radim Dvoracek. Radim. What kind of things do you eat in the Czech Republic? Are you, are you a competitive eater there? Oh, yeah. I eat dumplings, mostly. <laughs> so I have record in plum dumpling contest, 205 in one hour. I have no speed, so... <laughs> Publics are difficult for me. This is, this is the problem that you get. A lot of the folks who are YouTubers and mukbangers can eat you know, 20, 25 pounds of food, but they can't compete in 10 minutes. So we'll see how you do tomorrow at 10 minutes. Thank you. From Japan, the top-ranked eater in Japan, standing on the shoulders of great former champions Hirofumi Nakajima, Kazutoyo Arai, and the great Takeru Kobayashi of Japan, He's here, ideally, to reestablish his nation's dominance in the sport. King Yamamoto. Now, he has eaten 17 pounds of ramen, 15 pounds of steak. So we will see what he does tomorrow with hot dogs. Thank you very much. Representing South Korea, a veteran, a long-term circuit veteran, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Mary Bowers. Mary, what's your personal best? Twelve and a half hot dogs and buns in a ten-minute time. And how many tomorrow? Um, definitely going for the 15, 16 spot. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Bowers. And Mary always comes with a beautiful, fashionable ensemble, usually hot dog themed. And that's always a, a, a high point of the weekend. From Brasilia in Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Ricardo Corbucci. Oh, is, this the Brazil, is this the Brazilian cheering squad? <laughs> How many tomorrow? There's, there's been talk that you might be able to push up to that 50 range. What, what are you targeting? Yeah, 50 plus, maybe 52, 53. If that happens, he'll be right in. This is what I'm talking about. Everyone's right in that range. Thank you very much. Look out for Ricardo tomorrow and the fans. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tandra Childress. Tandra, where are you from? I should remember. Ah, San Francisco, California. A personal best of? Twelve. Twelve hot dogs and buns. What are you going to eat tomorrow? More than 12. Ladies and gentlemen, Tandra Childress, we will introduce her with great fanfare tomorrow. From Brixton in England, with a UK record of 34 hot dogs and buns, the number one ranked eater in Great Britain, ladies and gentlemen, Max Stanford. <laughs> Max, your personal best, 30, 34? So hoping to beat that tomorrow. We'll see. It's, it's totally new to me. It's, I'm a rookie, so I'm just going to enjoy it. No previous history in YouTubing and, and the big eating? Yeah, a little bit. Well, in the UK, I do quite a lot of compared to eating, so yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. And, yeah, YouTube as well. Good luck. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. 
She's the pepperoni roll eating champion of Long Pond, PA. And if that is not enough, she wants to win the championship belt tomorrow. She has been on the circuit for 14 years, ranked number 22 in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Laurel Marie Mellet. Laurel, your personal best, 16. 21 and a quarter. 21 and a quarter, but I said it with such confidence. Your personal best, 21 and a quarter. Yep. 21 and a quarter. How many tomorrow? 18. What about the weather? It's supposed to be cloudy, hot, humid. Is that going to slow people down or is that the normal? The humidity may, but I think the cloudiness is such a godsend. And no rain. Laurel Marie Melly, ladies and gentlemen, Long Pond, PA. George Chigger has been called the Red Horse of Death. It has been said that he is a man so evil they put him in prison in hell. Hell prison. Ladies and gentlemen, the big man, George Chigger. Now, rank number eight in the world. Uh, no. Rank number 21 in the world. What's your personal best? Uh, 32 and a half and 10. 32 and a half and 10. Now, you're a big guy. The heat is, is, is difficult for everybody. Do you ever feel the weight of that heat? Sometimes when I see you, I see the back of your neck is getting red, that your head gets all red. Is that a stressor for you? Definitely, definitely a stressor. When we were DC, it was 105 on stage the other day, and we did show. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, George Chigger. DC, we did a qualifier, it was very, very hot. Ranked number 10 in the world, please don't correct me if I'm wrong. Ranked number 10 in the world, with 10 pounds of boysenberry pie, 158 chicken wings, 39 hot dogs and buns, the 2000, the 2021 champion of the world from Tucson, Arizona, Michelle Lesko. Only five feet three, 110 pounds, but 39 hot dogs and buns. Obviously your rival and, and you two, there's no love lost between you, you and Mickey. What's happening tomorrow? Do you think you can take her down? Well, she, she's got me this year. I'm halfway through a bunch of dental work, but next year, because I've been training a bunch of techniques, so I'm going for a speed of what I can do with uh, this situation, and next year a bumper. How do you even eat competitively with dental work? Ugh. Very carefully. It's a <laughs> don't die is number one, and uh, put up a good number is number two. All right, congratulations. <laughs> Welcome to be here. Michelle Lesko, former champion of the world. Once Takiro Kobayashi had a molar removed only two weeks before the contest, and then he got what we call jothritis. He was day to day, but he did end up making it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from Tokyo, Japan, 20 pounds of ramen. I give you the great Mayoi Ebihara. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on up. So we have a translator. How many hot dogs is Mayoi seeking to eat tomorrow? She's a, a, a volume eater, but not a speed eater. What is she trying to, uh, how many is she seeking? Okay, so she wants to beat the woman's record, which is 48. In practice, she ate 50. So she just wants to eat as much as she can, and she says that she wants to eat until she passes out. She's been eating one meal a day, um, so she just wants to do her best, yeah. Wow, first of all, that is news. We're breaking news here today. Okay, I'm breaking news. 50 hot dogs and buns don't pass out. Stop before passing out. That's me, I'm a father. Okay. Um, but she, she is 5'1", and I'm guessing 98 pounds it, 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 how does she do it all is it is it she has she always been a big eater yeah she just continuously just wants to eat she's more of a volume eater um, on the daily basis but she just wants to do her best beat the woman's record and she's here to give it her all yeah okay rock on ladies and gentlemen Mayoya Bihara that is really great that is going to be something to see so I did not expect that there were a lot of rumors that last year she ate 33 and one half. A lot of rumors that she was up at 39, 40 plus. Now I hear it's 50 
And the other sound you heard was Mickey going, oh no. So Mickey is really going to have to be pushed here to tomorrow. So that is going to be very interesting to see. And with that said, in her nature has fashioned a warrior red in tooth and claw, and her soul shines like magnesium set afire against the dark mountain of night. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one ranked female in the world, the number three ranked eater overall, with nine wins in Coney Island, the great Mickey Sudo. Look how love she, lovely she is. Always so elegant. And the thing, you will know when she's really in the zone at the contest, she, she puts her hair in a ponytail. And I call it the angry pony. She just starts whipping her head around. That's when you know she's in her zone. Last year, very difficult because the weather was so hot. A little bit of news just coming out of the, out of the uh, interview there. Supposedly 50 hot dogs. Maybe this is gaslighting. Is, does that put pressure on you? Well, I guess the women's record's going down then. It's going to be a great event. If the women's record goes down, that essentially could be right next to the men. Are, you've been prepping. You're ready. Nine uh, belts. You want the tenth belt. Are you ready for tomorrow? Absolutely. Um, the audience is in for a treat. I'm going to be pushing myself. I'll have some awesome competition on that stage. We're going to see high numbers. The weather is going to comply, and I can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion of the world, the lovely Mickey Sudo. He is the number one ranked eater in the Southern Hemisphere, the number one ranked eater in Australia. Uh, I'm going to get this wrong. The number five ranked eater in the world. Is that right? Number five. Okay, I got that. I have a little memorization to do before tomorrow. He has eaten 70 donuts, 36 hot dogs and buns, and he has won six major league eating events in the last six months. A total of six world records. He is on a tear. A lot of people are putting him out there as the favorite to take home the mustard belt tomorrow. My friends, James Webb. James, 6'1", 6'2", uh, 200. I I is that about right? 6'1 and a half, 208 pounds. All right, very good. Big frame, very good at this. Beating everybody. You beat Joey Chestnut. You beat everybody, but not in hot dogs. What's happening tomorrow? Tomorrow, there's going to be a new champion, and it's going to be a great experience, and I'm just happy to be here. What a gracious guy. What I thought he was going to say is, and that champion's going to be me. We will see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, watch out for him tomorrow. A lot of people think that he is going to be the winner, but that, there, are, there are four other people seeking to stop that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there are ten commandments, nine lives, eight ways to Sunday. Seven C's, six senses, five fingers, four corners, three musketeers, and two sides to every story. But there is only one Nick Wherry. Fifty hard-boiled eggs in three minutes and four seconds. Two gallons of baby food. Forty-eight Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs and Buns. Look at the guns. He and I work out together. He's wearing a short sleeve shirt, so you can tell. If I, well, you'd see the same thing, basically, in the abs. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, he is a bodybuilder. He is uh, the, the, the husband of Mickey Sudo. They're called the Hungry Couple. Both currently eating 48 hot dogs and buns as their personal best. It's a very expensive lunchtime. It's a, it's a very expensive way to live. Nick, they, they, I, I, I need to, I'm going to do a stare down, the first ever husband and wife stare down a little later. But Nick... A lot of competition here. You're at 48. How many can you eat tomorrow? Can you win this? Is that possible? 100%. I think there's realistically five or six of us. It's going to be a dogfight for the last few minutes. I think that winning number is going to take 55 to 60. And if um, my practices at home, you know, speak to tomorrow, then that's definitely possible for me to win, whoever body cooperates. But uh, my goal for tomorrow will probably be somewhere between that uh, 55 to low 60s range. Okay, this is what I'd like to do. Can we bring the scale over? And we're just going to weigh in Mickey and Nick and certify them for, for competition. Mike Sullivan, MLE host, uh, is going to weigh in. I'll, I'll hold the belt. Okay. And, and when you're done, I want to see. Mickey Sudo on the scale. 135 pounds. 
135 pounds. Is she certified for competition? She is certified. She is certified. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure. Give me another. She is a fearsome, fearsome competitor, and you will see that tomorrow. Now, Nick. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Wery, 188 pounds, certified for competition in peak physical condition here today. This is what I'd like to do. Anybody who wants anything gets it. As you can see, this is, this is a loose affair. Anything you want, you get. I'm going to do a stare down. Let's do Mickey and Nick right now. So obviously, bragging rights at home. And is is Max this, is Max available? Is Max here? Could someone bring out Max? Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey several years ago could not compete because she was pregnant, and her young son, the the son of Mickey and Nick, a genetic phenom. He was ranked number 42 in the womb based on genetics alone. And he is currently the mashed banana eating champion of Tampa, Florida. And his first effort here on hot dogs, I believe. All right, that is the hungry couple right there and the future of our sport. There's no love lost here. You guys all good? Okay. All right. Well, I will tell you this. They, they're lovely and having fun, but they are very, very, very anxious and nervous about tomorrow, both of them very close. So we will be watching that event. That happens right at 11.30, I mean, uh, 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock. So the, the, the show tomorrow starts at 10.30 because we have so many people there, we put on a show. It's not much of a show for anybody who's been there. We put on the show starting 10.30. 11 is the women's contest. It will be in the ESPN show, the entirety of it, and then at essentially 12.20, the men's contest starts, and it all concludes at 1. And we will see you both there tomorrow. Thank you very much. Anybody who wants any interviews or anything, shots with the hot dogs, whatever you want, you're free to get. Does anybody need anything else while we're here? Any questions or anything? We're all... Feel free to uh, ask the eaters anything. Nick, tell me about what's your thoughts that Joey Chestnut is no longer competing in this competition this year, and your thoughts on the whole controversy that's taking place about it. Joey's an adult. There are contracts on the line. Anyone who's ever signed a, a contract to do a job 
understands there's a lot more logistics than just show up, eat hot dogs, money. So I don't know. Uh, I know it's really sexy for the New York Post just to say banned in huge red letters. But unfortunately, usually contracts are a lot less sexy than that. And there's logistics that go into things. And I think there's a lot more that go into it behind the scenes than just really cool, big, bold things. So what I'll say is it's things that Joey's not here as a friend. As a competitor, I could care less because I don't care who I'm competing with. I'm there to win. And there's going to be five or six guys that are beating ourselves to the death to try to win this contest. Okay. Uh, and now towards the fans, you know, you dominated this uh, competitive sport mm -hmm. or you call it a competitive sport for a decade. Mm -hmm. So what's your thoughts about the fans or the reactions to them not being here? Everybody's got fans. You know, you have fans for Joey, fans for other people. I know there's a lot of, um, you know, angry Twitter people with 37 followers saying how they're not going to watch, and that's really upsetting. But with that said, you know, if you're not going to watch because Joey isn't there, you weren't watching for a contest, you were watching for a guy trying to set a world record, in which case, watch the Guinness World Record show that they run out of Italy. It's a really fun show where solo people try to set world records. So if you want to watch that, then that's all fun and good. With that said, if you're there for a contest, this is probably going to be more competitive than it's been in a long time. And let's not forget, Joey lost in 2015. He's not unbeatable. This isn't a deity. This is a man that's lost before. So he wasn't even guaranteed to win this contest in the first place. The guy who wins on Thursday is going to be the best in the world, point blank, period. All right, now enough with the Joey stuff. Tell me, mm -hmm. what's your tactics this year in becoming a world champion of eating hot dogs? I've been practicing hot dogs since January, you know, which uh, may be overkill, but I'd rather do too much than too little. Um, but I can't play defense here, so i got to go out there, stay calm, play my game, and try to eat more hot dogs than the next guy. I think it's probably going to take 55 to 63, somewhere in that range. And, uh, and barring weather conditions, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, remember last year it got rained out. Yeah. Uh, so what are you doing to prepare for such an event like that? I mean, I guess you never know. I'm fortunate enough to live in Tampa, so I'm practicing in like 97 degree heat with a billion percent humidity year round. Uh, so if it's hot, I'll be fine. If it rains, we're all dealing with the same stuff. So. Now, what about your wife, Mickey Sudo? Mm -hmm. uh, have you, have you, I saw the whole face-off thing here mm -hmm. earlier. Uh, what's your thoughts on her chances of becoming a... Uh, Miggy's obviously a nine-time champ. She's undefeated on that stage, but Mayo is a phenomenal leader, and you never know how somebody's going to do. So I think Miggy's aware of how great Mayo is, but she's got to go out, run her race, and put up a number that she knows she's capable of. And uh, who's the person you want to really beat tomorrow, now that Joey's not here? Everybody. Point, everybody on the stage. I don't, I don't show up to get second. I don't show up to be better than myself. I practice to be better than myself. I'm not here for a ninth-place magenta participation trophy. I'm here to win. How many hot dogs do you plan to chow down? I'd like to land in that 55 to 63 range. you have any like, parting comments? Uh, just everybody show up. It'll be exciting. All right. Can you spell your name? N-I-C-K-W-E-H-R-Y. All right. Thank you very much. No worries, man. I've been doing the event since 1988. I began hosting in 1991. It was a very small event. However, it's grown and grown and grown. Now it's live on ESPN, lots and lots of media, lots of fans, tens and thousands of fans. But for me, it stretches all the way back, so I've been doing it for a very long time. So this year, unfortunately, the champion Joey Chestnut will not be there. However, that opens up um, five contestants who are all vying for the top spot, right? They're all in the range of 50 hot dogs and buns. So we're going to see a very fierce and hard-fought battle for number one. No one knows who's going to win. So we'll see what happens on the fourth. Uh, George, can I ask a question? Can you explain what's the controversy with Joey Chestnut and what exactly happened? Why yeah. is he not competing this year? So always with the, with the hot dog contest, the one exclusivity clause is that you can't represent a rival hot dog brand. And this year, Joey Chestnut came to us and his management team had secured a rival endorsement with a, a plant-based hot dog. So that created a real problem with exclusivity and we got at an impasse and we couldn't solve it. And then the media blew up on it. However, Nathan's and Major League Eating just conceded on that. We said, look, the fans want you, we want you there, and I think you probably want to be there. That's what he said. So let's just do it. Let's see if we can figure this out. We still couldn't come to a contract with his people, but he's always welcome. He will always be the greatest champion. Okay. And um, what do you think is going to be, uh, obviously, he's absent today. What are you going to be looking for towards tomorrow? Last year, remember, it got rained out. Yeah, horrible. Very, very much, and there was thoughts of even canceling the contest. How are you preparing for that to, uh, for this year in regards to that? Because we're hearing conditions could 
change uh, on July 4th. There's lots of rainstorms. Yeah. What, how are you preparing for that? Well, it, anytime you're going to hold an outdoor event in the heat of the summer, you run into the problem of, of, of big rainstorms, lightning, etc. That's always a possibility. We are holding the contest tomorrow. So if we got shut down and the entire crowd leaves, we are going to hold the contest on a few tables inside Nathan's. It's happening. It will always happen on the 4th of July. However, I don't think that's going to happen. I think we'll have a good contest tomorrow. I think we'll have good weather. What I'm looking for right out of the gate, is, is this a problem? No, it's okay. okay. Right. What I am looking for right out of the gate is to see whether or not James Webb, who goes out quickly at the beginning of the contest, to see whether he can establish a big enough lead that it's hard for the other eaters to catch up. So that's really going to be the question. Then the question is, Jeffrey Esper always eats very consistently. Does Jeffrey go consistent and then James Webb slow down? Right, so those are the things I'll be looking forward during the contest. What are you looking forward towards Nick Weary tomorrow? What are you looking towards? He says he can count on 60 hot dogs. Um, how many hot dogs are you expected the world champion uh, wins tomorrow? How many do you expect to see this year? If I had to guess, I would say it's going to be around 55. However, so many things impact that. The conditions, the heat, the humidity, when the hot dogs were cooked, all kinds of things are going to affect the total number. That's what I would expect, however. Nick Wery thinks he's looking at 55. He's definitely in that range. That's why I'm saying it's anybody's guess who wins and who takes home the mustard belt. All right, any parting comments? Rock on, it's the 4th of July, baby. <laughs> All right, can you spell your name? George Shea, G-E-O-R-G-E-S-H-E-A. All right, thanks, George. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. So, uh, you ran female champion. Can I ask a few questions? What's your thoughts on Joey Chestnut not participating in this year's hot dog Yeah, so Joey's been a friend of mine. Um, actually, he and his fiance are great friends to me and Nick. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've known Joey for over 10 years. I'm so happy as a friend for him that he had such a lucrative opportunity to go chase. Um, you know, obviously his contract wasn't compatible with, you know, this event. But, I mean, I wish him all the best. I mean, that's that's great for him. And for our contest, what that means is we're just going to see some really, really tight, high performances. Um, there are going to be about five or six guys just really fighting it out. It's going to be really exciting to watch. All right. How many hot dogs do you tend to chow down this year? Obviously, uh, last year we had that terrible rainstorm yeah. and, and that unpredictable weather. Uh, how are you going to put your tactics? Yeah, so I really just need to be a little bit faster out of the gate. I need to focus on what I'm good at, not get distracted. Um, if Mayoi Abihara is going to eat 50, then I have to be prepared to do even more. Right. And how many hot dogs are you last year? Uh, so I, my record's 48 and a half. She says she's going to beat that. Uh, last year I did 39 and a half, and she did 34. How's your son been doing so far? Just... Oh, Max is amazing. He loves food. He loves the spectacle of all of this. It's a, it's just a really exciting time, and he's having a ball. All right. Uh, what is he going to be doing tomorrow? Are you going to be sitting on the stand with Chad? Uh, um, Max will be making a couple appearances on stage, but for the most part, he's going to be a nice, like a little air-conditioned room, watching from a TV screen. And um, the weather tomorrow? How are you going to deal with that? Yeah, I mean, I from the forecast, it looks like it's going to be a little bit overcast, um, a little bit cooler. I think I saw highs of 83. Those are perfect hot dog eating conditions. And uh, so something that you like, think of it, it is a competitive sport of sorts. How long it takes to train to get to become a major competitive eater? Uh, I mean, I enjoyed some early success, and I continued to grow. Um, my first hot dog practice ever was 31 in 10 minutes. And then, uh, you know, a few years later, I was, actually, no, that very same year, I was doing 46 at practice. So, I mean, I think it's just some bodies, some people's bodies just adapt quicker um, than others. So there's some genetic predisposal. Okay. Do you have any parting comments for tomorrow? Um, I'm just really excited for another awesome year. I wanted to thank the fans for, um, you know, 10 amazing years. I'm going for my 10th belt. Just thank you for all the support. Um, I'm also really proud to be part of the Nathan's tradition of donating 100,000 hot dogs to the food banks in New York. All right. Can you spell your name? Mickey Sudo, M-I-K-I-S-U-D-O. All right. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you.
tell me where you're from. Yes, what's good eating fans? They call me Badlands, top rank American eating champion, AKA the all day buffet when it comes to chugging lemonade, I don't play. Yo, I'm Badlands. I'm born and raised in Jamaica, Queens, but I live in Long Island at the moment. Oh man, this is an honor, LLN. I'm subscribed, I watch you all the time. You are the heartbeat of the city, I'm telling you. You get there before anybody, before Eyewitness News, News 4, all of them. Thank you. All right. All right, tell me about it. Obviously, there's controversy uh, about this contest. Joey Chestnut's not coming this year. Uh -huh. What's your thoughts on this controversy? Well, you know. I, um, you know, I, I, all the best to Joey, but, you know, I just got to focus on, you know, getting this chug thing going, all right, man, but, you know, I, you know, you know, big ups to Joey, you know, we're friends, you know what I'm saying, he's a very good eater, and, yo, yeah, you know, but, I, I mean, all I know is what I see on the news and what you report. <laughs> all right, so still tell me, like, what do you expect to see tomorrow? Who's going to be the next hot dog champion? How many uh, hot dogs are going to be chowed out? Well, it looks like it's going to be, like, high 50s to low 60s you know you got four people that's in the run you got patrick Bertoletti, you got nick wary you got um um the, the, um the guy from japan uh, not japan guy from australia um and you you um oh my god and, and you also got um jeff esper from boston um i think personally nick wary got a great shot but also patrick Bertoletti could be a sleeper and obviously you're the chugger guy. What are you looking towards tomorrow? How many are you gonna chug? How many drinks are you gonna chug? Well, it's a gallon of Nathan's lemonade. Last year I did it in 23.08 seconds. And if I can do better than 23 seconds, it's gonna be a good day. We got some good chuggers. We got Aiden Parker. He's TikTok's number one chugger. We got Airsoft Fatty, the legend. You know, we got Prudence, the better, you know, we got Teresa Huey. We got a whole bunch of chuggers. It's gonna be a good, a good contest. It's like nine people chugging tomorrow and it's a beautiful thing. Last year we had that horrible rainstorm oh, yeah. that affected the contest. So yeah. what are you gonna do to prepare and if such weather changes if that happens? Well, I'm going to bring my rain boots. I'm going to bring my rain gear. I'm a former uh, New York Transit conductor. I still got my rain gear, so I'll bring my rain boots. Uh, but, I, but I'll be good. It's all good. Uh, so so, so you, you have experience dealing with the rain? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been doing this for over 20 years. Right. Rain, snow. No, not snow. Rain, <laughs> hot heat wave, hazy hot. Heat. It doesn't matter. We're out there either eating hot dogs or chugging. All right. So what does it mean to be a chugger? What does it mean to be a chugger? Oh man, you know, well, for me, it's everything, you know. I have a YouTube channel, Badlands Chugs, and my mission is to chug the whole world, one bottle at a time, all right? I want to be that king who weeps because there's no more drinks to chug, no more drinks to conquer. That's going to be me. All right, Badlands, a parting comment I usually ask the last question. Can you do like a little rap thing, maybe? Yeah, sure. When it comes to this, I'll be that Bodhisattva, big bop, political Dalai Lama, a Don Dada, not from Harlem, but a Globetrotter. I'm just a modern savage surgeon for the ultimate ride, ultimate high by my side, my ultimate ride to die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you like do something about Queens, Reverend Queens or something? Yes. Yes, they call me Badlands. I'm from New York, Jamaica, Queens, representing since the stalk, since I stepped out the womb when they landed on the moon. Yes, Badlands, Jamaica, Queens all day. Oh, yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you very much, Badlands Trucks. Appreciate you. LLN is the best, okay? Thank you very much. My man. Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia, and you're competing in the Nathan's Hot Nathan Hot Dog Contest. You competed last year, right? Yeah, last year I finished third. Okay, and was that your first time? Or it was my second time. I finished third two years in a row. All right, as you know, the Nathan's Hot Dog Contest is a growing controversy about Joy Chestnut. What's your thoughts on Joy Chestnut not showing up this year? Look, Joey's a great competitor. He's also a great friend, so whatever he has to do, I respect what he has to do. But um, to be fair, it just leaves the field wide open for the rest of us to have an opportunity and put our best foot forward. All right, so I just spoke with Nick Wary. He just said he could chow down 55 to 60 hot dogs. What are you trying to do to this time? What are you trying to, how many hot dogs you plan to chow down this year? Look, I'd love to see it. If he does 60, I want to do 61. That's the competitive nature. But to be honest, I want one of us to crack the 60 mark.
right. Last year we had that horrible rainstorm that almost canceled the contest. What are you preparing to do if the weather forecast goes crazy? It's the same for everyone. You can only do what you can do, so I'm just there to eat hot dogs, man. Right. And how long have you been a competitive eater? Uh, going on three years now. Three years. And is it just a recent phenomenon for you that you're doing it? Or? I, I started May 2021 as a bit of a joke, and it kind of snowballed into my full-time living. And uh, now I'm here talking to you on the 3rd of July for Coney Island. Like, it's pretty exciting. Right. And how are people viewing this in Australia? You, uh, is it big over there in this hot dog eating contest or competitive eating? Competitive eating is not that big. It's it's there, but it's not that big. But I've been able to bring a lot of eyes and a lot of attention to it. And it's getting bigger in Australia now because of what I've been able to do. Right. And do uh, you have anything else you want to say? Thanks for having me. And look, best of luck to everyone tomorrow. And it's going to be a great show. All right. Can you spell your name? James Webb. J-A-M-E-S-W-E-B-B. -B. All right. Thanks, James. Thank you.